Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are in my apartment. And I did loads of space for this video because today we are going to be doing five awesome Overlook Bay build hacks that I created and I'm really excited to show you guys. So as you can see right here, I have some platforms available to do the build hacks on top of and then I also have one upstairs as you can see up here because I don't have any space down here to do any more. Today I'm really excited to be showing you these build hacks because the other day I was thinking of things that I would like to see in Overlook Bay, like more shapes and stuff and actually a lot of these build hacks are made out of shapes. I'm really excited to show you guys these build hacks and honestly, guys like these build hacks are so versatile that you can change them and make them how you would like to make them all right so the first build hack that i'm going to show you today is pretty easy for shapes we are going to go into slabs and then i think i'm going to use i think it was the large one yes so it is the large square the large slab right here is what i used for it so i'm going to go ahead and place this down right here and i'm going to color this you can color this any color you would like i'm just going to do this red color right here and then I'm going to duplicate this all right so for this we're gonna need actually another wall so I'm going to use a small wall right here and I know it's so many walls okay so I'm going to put this wall right here and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of make a box but we are going to leave the fourth space open and then also I'm gonna go back to my shapes and then I am going to go to I think it's in misc yes yeah, so it is in misc and we're going to grab this pyramid shape right here and we are going to color this let's just do black since most roofs are black anyways so for this as you can see we can't directly put it down onto the walls so we are going to go ahead and turn this wall over like this so that we can add a little surface to put that on top of okay so that's perfect right there i'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this is center and voila it's a little dog house voila it's a little house so this is not an official dog house yet until we have the dog beds inside so i think i'm going to use the smallest dog bed which is this one right here this one's just five gems really inexpensive and let's go ahead and color this I honestly don't know why I want to color this. Let's just color this white for right now like that and put this on the inside and there you go you have a little dog bed this build hack is kind of pretty simple um let me go ahead and grab a pet out we're going to grab our fellow friend donut and put her in there and look oh it's so cute oh my goodness so the next build hack that i'm going to show you is actually something pretty cool so we're gonna go ahead and go back into shapes and let's see, I think, okay, so we need circles for this one and I'm going to go ahead and use the large circles just because we are making a cloud shape. So I'm going to color this, this white color cause it was like a cream color before. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so happy they added this duplicate tool. We have a cloud right here. And the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to go to, I believe this one is actually in decor. So we can go into decor, go into a wall because this is a wall decor type of thing aha okay here it is it is this neon light bar right here and I'm going to go ahead and put it against this wall like right here or something let's go ahead and do right here so that is what it looks like I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that oh my gosh why does it go over there <laughs> okay so I'm gonna put this one right here and I'm going to recolor this one to yellow okay so we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna duplicate that again one more time oh no Oh my gosh, that scared me. Okay, so we're gonna duplicate that light bar again one more time because okay, so I'm going to color this one blue. So maybe like that blue. That blue is actually pretty. So if you choose to leave it like this as like a wall decal, then you can. But I'm actually going to add something to the bottom of it. So I'm just going to do um, misc and then I'm going to use a circular triangle and see what I can come up with this. So we can do something like this. And then I'm going to recolor this to that white color so that it kind of just matches 
and then I'm going to duplicate that shape and then I'm going to turn it around like this. I would have actually done this video as like a speed build, but um, just in case for those people who are new builders, I thought this would be a good idea to kind of just explain what I'm doing. So we're going to leave it like that so it's like a little platform and I'm going to add another dog bed. So I'm actually going to take this one right here and I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to add it right here because it looks so cute. Oh my gosh, how adorable is this? Okay, so this is kind of like a rainbow theme bed, but stay tuned because I have another rainbow bed theme build coming up that, oh my gosh, guys, it's going to blow you guys away. It actually took me a while to figure it out. So the next build that I have is actually a build that I I am really proud of and this build goes to my donut squad because this is a donut theme build and let me tell you this one actually took me a while to kind of figure out how to do because of the shapes that we have so we're gonna go into misc again and I'm going to grab four of these circular triangle things Let's go ahead and color it that color and we're gonna go ahead and turn this into a circle so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go back into circles and we are going to grab the large circle right here. And I think I am just going to color this like a pink color. And I'm just going to place this throughout the donut to act as like the frosting. Okay, so that is a frosting right there. If you guys would just like to use this as like a donut build, then you can put like a circle in the middle and change the color of that to like another color and then put the same circle on top of that to kind of just hide this little glitch for example that and then we're gonna go ahead and put this on top to kind of just hide that little glitch but for this build I'm actually going to leave this out because I'm actually gonna be turning this into another little doggy bed as you can see so the dog bed that I like to use for this build is the disco pet bed and the reason why is because this one is like perfectly circular so like that and if you guys wanted to you guys can keep it like this and make like a flower build and then the next thing I like to do is put down sprinkles so the sprinkles that I like to use for this, it's actually in the Christmas section and it, it is the snowball. It's kind of the shape of a sprinkle, but not really. But this is the closest thing that I can put down. Honestly, guys, I think you could probably use this one right here as well. So this is the Christmas candies stand. You can either use this as sprinkles or you can use the snowballs. But for my build, personally, I use a snowball and I'm going to put down three colors. All right, and that is pretty much it for the donut dog bed. How cute is that, guys? Okay, so moving on to this next build. Now, this next build is quite explanatory. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna be making is a ball pit. Okay, so this one depends on you, but for this one, I tend to use like the medium balls like this and then the smaller ones like this if it okay there it is oh, I was like wondering where it went All right, so that is pretty much it for this build as well. It's pretty simple. I actually do have an idea that goes along with this build. So let me go ahead and show you what the idea is first. So that's pretty much it what it looks like all right so moving on to the last build this is probably the most difficult build in this video and i have confidence that every single one of you can actually create this build so the first things first is we are going to create the rainbow portion of this first and what i mean by this is you want to start out with the most inner the smallest inner color which I will show you because we're gonna do pink yellow and blue since blue is the smallest color on the inside we're gonna start off with that first because we're gonna be using the large slabs right here and I'm actually going to be using the same colors as I did in this rug right here so that it can match with this other rainbow that I am building as well so we're gonna start off with the smallest color 
Okay, so this square is actually not going to be turning the other way. So we're going to have to use a wall for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and use this wall right here for a second. All right, so we kind of got it to line up right there. We wanna make sure it's lined up in the front. Um, in the back, it doesn't really matter, but if you're that type of person who likes things to be perfect, you're going to want to make sure that everything lines up. I'm gonna go ahead and move this wall right here because we don't really need it right now. And um, we're going to need it later on, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this wall right next to it. If it doesn't align on the bottom, it's fine. Um, we're gonna be covering that up again. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna wanna do is <laughs> we are going to want to add the next color. Now, this is where things get kind of tricky. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're gonna make sure that it's smooth right here, but we can also see the colors. So we know where to line all these shapes up. All right, so now here's the tricky part. The tricky part is probably the top of it. All right, so as you can see, I'm going to try to get this yellow slab on top of that blue slab right now. So I brought the wall out just a little bit so that we can get this wall to turn sideways like this. Okay, so as you can see, we can't put this on the top and it's going to overlap like that. So we're actually going to have to get another shape. Hopefully the color is saved. So I'm going to go ahead, go back to slabs, and then we're going to go into the smaller ones like this right here. And we're actually going to need to do this for the pink on the top. So there we go. We got our second color down. Now let's go ahead and get our last color up, which is pink. All right, so voila, we got the shape done. And the next thing that I'm going to do is we want to put a doggy bed in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this wall right here. All right, here's the hard part. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back to shapes and we're going to go to balls. And then I think I used either, I think I used the medium ones. You can use any like size you want, but I'm going to use the medium ones. And I'm going to actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and color these white so that they are white like clouds instead of that cream color. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to place these inside the wall like right here and try to cover up this bottom half right here. All right guys, so here's the finished look. <gasps> that is our rainbow bed. Oh my gosh, look at this. It is so cute. Okay, so let me go ahead and get a pet out so I can show you. We're gonna grab Donut again. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Now you guys can make this however tall you like if you want to add another pet bed up there or however wide you like too. This kind of just depends on your taste and how much space you're working with. But this is the build guys. This is the build right here. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. All right, guys. So that's actually going to be the end of all five of our build hacks. Let me know what you guys think in the comments or if you guys have any build hacks you like me to try out or any that you created as well. Definitely send me some screenshots on Discord or Twitter or Instagram if you guys have any of those build hacks because I would love to see what you guys come up with as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you part of our donut family and I'd love to have you stick around for our future videos that are coming your way because they are awesome <laughs> but anyways guys thank you guys so much for your continuous support and your love and commenting and liking my videos i love every single one of you and i will see you guys next time bye